Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Stiebel Eltron Temper 24 Plus Tankless Water Heater. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents. Just kind of based off my experience with it and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too that I actually found a pretty good deal on this. I'll put a link in the description below to that so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So they just came out with um, a brand new model for 2019. It's called the same thing. It's called the Temper 24 Plus. It replaces the old Temper 24 Plus. Um, they've made some quite a few changes to it uh, on the outside. The inside is still kind of the same as last one. It's kind of a uh, if it isn't broke, don't fix it thing. But they did add uh, a few different things to it I thought I'd mention um, if you happen to be looking at them and notice it looks different than the older model, uh, they did make some changes for this year, 2019. So anyway, what did they change? Is it better? What's the deal with it? Well, they did all the change. I will say right off the get go, all the changes they made were for the better. Most of them are cosmetic changes. They have a couple changes with the way the outside looks and functions. Uh, they just kind of cleaned everything up, but the actual unit on the inside, is nearly identical, uh, which is a good thing because they make the best tankless water heaters out there. They're 100% made in Germany. Um, very, very, very good build quality. They're a little more pricey than your than other ones I looked at, but they're just extremely good quality uh, units. They work really well too, and they work very efficiently too. Um, this is a 24 kilowatt unit, which is good for the vast majority of the homes uh, out there. Um, you get a real big house, you might need a little bit bigger one. If you got a real small house, you might need a little smaller one. But for the average homeowner, this is going to be, you know, around the 1,500 to 1,800 square foot house. This is the one you're going to want. Uh, it does require a 240 volt uh, input, so you're going to need the bigger plug if you don't have one already. Um, you know, if I have an electrician run one, usually it's not very expensive, um, you know, less than 500 bucks for sure. Um, and if you're close to like your circuit breaker, it could be like a hundred bucks to have one put in. It's very simple, simple little straightforward thing. So, um, as far as functionality, how this thing works, it works great. Uh, it can maintain a temperature, uh, maintain a temperature from 86 to 140 degrees, I don't know what kind of human being would want 140 degree, uh, heat in their house. It would just burn your skin, but can do it. Um, <laughs> but the point is it's, it will give you infinite hot water. You'll never run out of hot water. It also saves you a lot of money in efficiency because if you have like a tank water heater with like a, say you get a 50 gallons of water sitting there at all times, it's constantly heating that water to keep it with the same temperature. And a lot of the, no matter how well they insulate it, it's still a lot of heat leaks through. So you're wasting tons of energy all the time by keeping this 50 gallons of water really hot. This just heats it as it goes. And like I said, that's one of the perks of it. But the other nice thing is you never run out of hot water. Very simple to use, very easy to install. Uh, there's an input and there's an output. And that's about it. You plug it in. And that's it. I mean, there's no tank. It just can't be much more simpler than that. I do like the Note 2019 interface. Um, it really it just looks a lot sleeker. It's more minimal look. It's got a nice dial on the front, uh, which tells the temperature that it's holding at. And there's a dial that you can change that with. And it also has your flow rate. You can have it current flow rate, or you can change it to your average flow rate for the last like day or seven days or month and they'll display that in gallons per minute. So that's kind of handy too. Um, but yeah, really like this thing. Highly recommend it. If you guys have any more questions about it, uh, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.